Let's get to Pooh's Keys presented by Riverwind Casino. Pooh, what's important for Kansas State tonight? Well, anytime you play OU, Chad, first and foremost is transition defense. You have to sprint back and set your defense where K-State is number two in the country in defensive field goal percentage. In Oklahoma, they want to play and defend that paint because you're going to see that right there. A lot of driving it to the paint tonight. Quick look there for Jalen Glenn to drop home the first bucket of the game. And Lexi Keys off the mark with that three. It bounds back over the backboard, and it will go to Kansas State. Starting lineup for Kansas State, you have the Glenn sisters in the starting lineup. Jalen and Riley, Gabby Gregory, the former Oklahoma Sooner, and Hisela Sanchez is coming off a career-high 18 in the win over BYU. And a good start for the Wildcats. Here's a steal by Jalen Glenn. Kansas State with a 4-0 lead and the steal with possession. Sanchez off the mark, and Skyler Van has the Sooner rebound. A three is on the way by Peyton Verholst. No good. Right back out to top. She'll trigger one, and it's off the mark. Shalina Sundell skips in for the rebound. Chad, we talked about OU defending the paint. When Lee's playing, that ball's going to be thrown into the post. But with Lee out, you're going to see a lot of dribble drives, a lot of penetration from Kansas State. These Wildcats love to get it in the paint. And Sanchez can definitely drive it because she's skilled. Held ball is freshman Sahara Williams in the starting lineup. Peyton Verholst and Lexi Keys as well, shooting it very well lately. She's made 9 of 17 from three-point land in her last four games. And the top really directing things for the Sooners. Williams tries to save that and does right to Briley Glenn. K-State does such a good job of just being act active. They have a lot of activity, Chad. And activity from the three line from Sanchez there, giving K-State a 7-0 lead. Just the ninth made three this year for Hisela Sanchez, but she made three against BYU over the weekend. 15 to shoot. Van slides back door and scores. Sundell skips it deep into the corner. Briley Glenn and now Jalen Glenn triggers. And here comes Verholst for Oklahoma. Keys to the deep posting Van who converts with Gregory on her hip that time. They've done that a few times in practice right there. At that time, Skyler got the best of Gabby. Gregory posts hard against Verholst. Out of the double team. Good ball movement. Sanchez drops home one from up top. And the more she plays, the better she's getting, Chad. And that's the thing for Kansas State. And they're unbeaten in the four games since Aoka Lee injured her ankle. She is expected back here in the next couple of weeks for Jeff Mitty. But he said one of the beautiful things about this team is even though we have a star, the depth, and the chemistry, Jenny Baranchek Sooners, top four in the Big 12 in both scoring and defending. They've been very good. And she said, we'd like to get a little more boost from our bench players. There's been a lot on their starters here in recent games. And so Beatrice Culleton and Kennedy Tucker, along with Aubrey Jones, Jones make a, a quick entry into this game. Too. Well, it's one of those ones where it's going to be one of those grind out games. So coach doing a good job of getting some reserves in early because she knows that this is going to be a dog fight. Chad. Two steals for Nevaeh Tock. She finds Jones open for a three off the mark right to Culleton and she'll head to the free throw line. Beatrice Culleton. It's really given Oklahoma a presence. It really used three young posts, Culleton, and we'll see Landry Allen. It's around Culleton, tough shot. Culleton did a decent job staying with her. Sanchez rebound. Back cut by Sanchez, and the lay-in off a nice find from Serena Sundell. Moppin made that play. She does not get the offensive rebound, but that tap out allowed the Wildcats to run it down. And fan. Skyler Van, six of the seven Sooner points in this one. Walker trying to free herself from Tot, but can't do it. Imani Lester spinning in the post and fouled on the way up. When Aoka talks, people listen. And I know there's a bunch of young people at home right now that have no idea what I'm talking about when I say EF Hutton, but the old school people, they know. And it's amazing what they have done. They've had to adapt multiple times. Remember, she was with them. Now, 
three seasons ago, then missed a year due to injury last year, came back this year, they played with her, now without her, then they'll get her back, and they've just been steady through it all. Collison in that drop coverage right there on that middle ball screen. Walker off the mark. Gregory saves it, but right to Tot. Nevaeh Tot can really scoot the other way. Ball reversal. Tucker with the three. It's good for Kennedy Tucker. That's only her third made three of the year. That was a great job by Nevaeh Tot pushing the offense in transition, flattening that defense. And then a great one more right there by Skyler, which led to that Tucker three. Oklahoma with a chance to take the lead for the first time tonight. A lob it up to Jones. Stripped. And Jones will go to the foul line. Knock that bad boy down, and the Sooners doing what they do in transition. And that is why Coach Mitty said, first and foremost, as far as keys to the game, that was his biggest key. Because when they set their defense, Chad, they're the second best defense in the country. Best in the Big 12, second best in the country. Triple double threats. You know how she passes the ball. You know she's scoring 14 tonight. And she loves to go right. There's that height of Allen and Johnson. Sundell is going to test you, and she's going to try to get it in there. So just want to play straight up and down that time. I get it. You're playing a number two team in the country. It's the first time Kansas State has been ranked number two in the country since 2002. And when, when you go back and look, they are the first team in the history of the major polls to go from unranked to as high as number two in the country. Scott turns and fires. Rebound to Gregory. Shot clock is off. And 15 seconds remaining in the opening period. Jeff Mitty calls out the play for Serena Sundell. You see Sundell's eyes up right when they secured that rebound. She knew they were going to take one shot. Gregory steps left and fires. And that'll do it for the opening period. And Kansas State seeking an 11-0 start, or 10-0 start in Big 12 play. It would be a school record winning streak in Big 12 conference play. Tell you what, Chad, you mentioned this right prior to the break, but two of the better defensive teams in the Big 12, and they're not disappointing right now because balls were falling early, but right now those makes have been tough to come by. And that's the thing that maybe gets lost with both of these teams is just how well they have defended. That was a good defensive set for Oklahoma right there, and Lexi Keys has the rebound. Great box out, too, by Todd. Here's Keys. Did not score in the first meeting between these teams. But she gets an early second. Gregory strong with that one. And the Bay of Todd in to strip that one away. Sundell will try one. Off target. You have to be careful, and if you're the Sooners, you have to get back in transition because they will surprise you. The Kansas State averages 17 a game off turnovers. Beautiful little dump down there from Van to Sahara Williams, and the Sooners extend their lead to three. Oklahoma, six assists on seven made field goals. That's what they do. And Jenny Baranchek told us we, we love our assist to turnover ratio right now, but the next step is to move with purpose. And Oklahoma doing a lot of that so far today. Tonight. They really are. And I'm so impressed at how they're not fighting that pressure and just back cutting. Sundell ties it. And then you have some others that get out and pressure a little bit. Sundell takes away another rebound. I'll tell you what I love about Sahara, though, just in that last possession, she's kind of like a bowling ball. She goes down there and she ducks in, and those defenders go in the opposite direction, Chad. Gabby Gregory fouled by Verholz. Two really good coaches, and we're witnessing a chat. We're witnessing a chess match right now. Watch what Gregory did in the low post, as you're alluding to. Yeah, they both teams. They're really and Gabby made a couple of huge baskets against Baylor, doing just that. And I know she has a reputation as a three-point shooter, and she gives Kansas State a two-point lead. Three minutes into the second period. Skyler Van knocks down the three from the corner. Skyler just doing what she does. She makes plays. We say whatever the Sooners need, she can deliver. And that time, stepped out and shot that rainbow and made it look easy. One on the shot clock. What a conversion there by Moppin. That was just a great job by Moppin making herself available, finding that open spot. 
Tot on the mark, and we're tied again. Nevaeh doing what she does right now. 63% of her shot attempts are from behind that three-point line, and that time she teed one up and held that follow-through, the old gooseneck, and nothing but the bottom. <laughs> and Sundell <laughs> has the counter the other way. Anything you can do, I can do it just as well. Sundell said touche. So Sundell second made three. Kansas State back to a one-point lead. Van wants to get in on the action. And that's off the mark into the hands of Jalen Glenn. I was going to say, we had a three-point competition breakout. A little heat check there. Sanchez rolls one up to the rim and in. What a night. She's got 12. So, so skilled. She can do it all. Aubrey Jones the other way for the Sooners. Her second three of the night. Back to the three-point competition right here. <laughs> and we know that's what Aubrey does. You talked about that, Chad. Shooter see one go in, and that rim just gets bigger. Oklahoma substituting here. Verholz, Oklahoma, only three turnovers so far. They have the fewest turnovers in the Big 12 since conference play began. Well, you know what? There's an old saying, Chad. Walker will go to the foul line. Pretty sure she's emphasized valuing each possession. And her young ladies hurt her, and you can tell by watching them play. And the third against Oklahoma here in the second quarter. Zai Walker, the Louisville transfer, a player that's... Jeff Mitty said really like her work ethic. She's a super competitive player and has really helped. And they've been able to move Sundell off the ball a little bit. And Walker comes up with that loose change and scores it the other way. And that's what she does. She brings an edge to this group. She has a, a tough demeanor about her, and she's a good defender right there with a deflection that led to that steal. Walker's making big plays right now for the Wildcats. And Sanchez finds a wide open lane to the rim to finger roll that one home. And Oklahoma takes a timeout. She is one of the lead candidates for Big 12 sixth player of the year. Averaging shade under 10 points per game. Fan foul. No, although, uh, you know what? She was the sixth starter the last two years, yes. basically. But now she said, I'll just slide over and become a full-time starter. She keeps playing like she is. She's a candidate to just take away the sixth part of that and just go player of the year. Great call. She rinses both of those foul shots. Look at Sanchez find the scene, but then turn it over, trying to flip it to Moppin underneath. Oklahoma going to reset. Just good, solid defensive rotations for K-State. Well, you can tell. We talked about you all, but you emphasized their emphasis has definitely been transition defense. Lena Scott loses another one. Here comes Walker. Tried to surprise a little sneak pass in there, but the Sooners were up for it. It's getting a little ragged both ways right now. A lot of turnovers, both teams. And right now, there's Coach Baranchek saying, slow this thing down. Let's make sure we get the last one right here with the two-second differential in shot clock and game clock. Who will take it for the Sooners? Jeff Mitty trying to force the hand of Raina Scott here. Into Skyler Van. Nice ball fake. Dump down to Johnson. Bucket and a foul. Here's to Johnson. Same look. She hard duck in. Draws the double. Actually, that was a shot fake that took Moppin out of the play. Sanchez helps up the floor. When you help up the floor, it's harder for that defender to crack down. And Sooners have got two layups off of that exact same action. And Johnson ties it. Kansas State will have a chance to get a shot up here, but there's a travel as Jalen Glenn thought she had an open teammate. Lexi Keys for Oklahoma. Kirsten Johnson trying to find Van and right play, execution being number two. He said, look, a lot has to go right to get to number two. He said in terms of being a good team, said I'm not surprised about that. And then things just fall into place, and you, you ascend to number two in the country. Well, and it's an everyday thing, and that's the one thing I was impressed with talking to Coach Mitty. He said this is an everyday type group. They show up, and they compete, and they work every day, and that's what happens when you do that. And one of their leaders right there, Serena Sundell, breaks the tie to start half number two. Sundell just having a good night, 11 points and four of rebounds so far. Keys misses that three, but Nevaeh Tot tracks down the miss. That was a great job by Verholz taking a page out of Moppin's book and that nice tap out for that offensive rebound. 
Under 10 to shoot now for the Sooners. Keys just not able to get free to get a three-pointer away. Williams, two to shoot. She will. Tough baseline jumper there. A little Dirk Nowitzki, one foot fadeaway right there by Sahara. Now Sundell posting. Wide open three for Briley Glenn is good. That's what she does. She's got a presence about her in particular since the injury to Aoka Lee. Great shot preparation right here by Glenn. Hands and feet are ready and steady. And K-State doing K-State things. Each team has six made threes tonight. Sanchez retrieves that loose ball but can't convert. Sooners right here, this is where they kill you. Keys, transition three, is down. That is OU being OU right there. The Sooners are so good. One of the best teams in the country in transition. Great job moving her feet. Short clock. Gregory had to pull the trigger. Good defensive set for Oklahoma. Keys, another open look. And we're tied. Lexi Keys drills back-to-back -back triples. How about Nevaeh? Tied. Give Keys the three, but give Nevaeh all the credit for just making that play and spoon-feeding Lexi for that open three. Nevaeh Tott leading the Big 12 in assist-to-turnover ratio. That's her fourth dime of the night. Nice leaner there by Briley Glenn. No good. Williams runs ahead of the pack. Gathered herself and scored, and the Sooners retake a two-point lead. That's what they do. A great pass in transition. A little bit of the Euro slowdown right there by Sahara. Led to that basket. Sanchez. And fouled by Sahara Williams. The questions, conversations, the engagement between the two of them. And there have been late game situations recently for Oklahoma. Their win at Texas, which was huge. Nevaeh Tott was on the foul line. Their win the other day over Kansas had the ball in her hands late in that game. She's really leaning into it. Cool. Well, and then, like, she's 2.5 to 1, as you said, which leads the league in assist to turnover. You, you can live with that. As a coach, you want your point guard to be out there making those plays. 2.5 assists to one turnover. One point lead for Oklahoma. Backdoor cutting. Van blocked by Sanchez. And Sanchez tipped that to save it. And it'll go the other way. Oklahoma again rotating on her. Gregory. That was blocked by Verholz. A good move and better defense. Corner three. Jalen Glenn strokes that one down for Kansas State. Short clock right here. Five to shoot. Tot. Kind of probing and then had that last burst to get to the window. Slipped a little bit. Actually put K-State and made sure they had the dancing shoes on. She made a nice hard drive with that right hand and <laughs> put a little English on it to make it fall. Did I hear, may I have this dance? That was a, that was a may I have this dance moment right there by Nevaeh Todd. That was a travel against Moppin. She had Glenn flashing open on the back door cut. Yes, she did. 13th Kansas State turnover as we go to break. Right here, Chad, you, you talked about it right here. Let's say, may I have this dance with the left to right cross? High and soft off the glass. Nevea tight. Chad, we're right where we started. 43 off. We got a good one. All tied at 43. We were tied at 33 at halftime. This game is going to be just like that, Chad. It's going to be someone's going to make a play with the ball at the end of the game. That's what you expect when you get two heavyweights like this. Aubrey Jones drills that three. Both teams knocking it down. Oklahoma's made two of three from three-point range, and K-State three for three here in this third quarter. And Sanchez will hoist up another one. It's good. Sanchez is playing. Sela Sanchez from Barcelona, Spain. Beatrice Culleton. But then you also have to locate shooters, which OU always has two or three of them out there. And then the Sooners, I, I haven't mentioned this yet. The first time we did a Sooner women's game together, Chad, I talked about that buffet. That where you, it's kind of all you could eat and a lot of different players. Has got, oh, look at Sand. Look at Sundell. Sundell threw that off the backside of a Sooner <laughs> player underneath. You know what, Chad? Freshmen and sophomores don't make that play. Sundell has been around a while. That was a vet play. Kirsten Johnson, the lefty jump hook lands. 
That was a nice left hand right shoulder jump hook by KJ. And Kennedy Tucker with an Oklahoma steal. Attacks Walker and earns a trip to the foul line. Chat, what do we say about Sundell being that coach on the floor? Look at that. That, that is impressive. You know what? It, you got to be a little lucky, too, with your bounce because that ball bounce. You should get an assist for that. We talked about Serena being the coach on the floor. Give her that assist, Chad. Kennedy Tucker has been a difference maker off the bench. And she just brings a motor that gives the Sooners that defensive edge and a little toughness. Along with Lexi right here. Lexi picking up full, trying to wear down because one thing about Serena did not come out of the game in that first half, right? So that's a smart play right there, picking her up full court. Moppin avoided the swipe by Johnson and laid it in. And Johnson the other way with a back cut. Great cut, just didn't finish it. Just had that layup there and didn't get it up high and soft. Kansas State, a chance to retake the lead. The number two team in the country. They started the season unranked. Unbeaten in the Big 12, trying to stay on top. Gregory free for three and hits it. That was great. Her first made field goal of the night. Tot, not this time. Rebounded by Kirsten Johnson. Sooners get a reset. Sundell swipes another rebound. K-State will hold it here for the last one, and I was just going to brag on the Sooners right there. That ball was popping like a hot potato. I always talk about that San Antonio Spurs .5 where you have .5 to dribble pass or shoot it. And that time, I mean, it was probably less than .5 the way they were moving that ball. Keys trying to make it difficult for Sundell to initiate. Two to shoot. A good look to close the third. Two-point lead for Kansas State. We said that earlier in this game, right in the beginning of the second quarter, that a three-point shooting competition broke out. I, 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 I thought that was doing the all-star all competition <laughs> next month, but we got an early peek at it tonight. Skyler Van fires the first shot of this fourth and final period. Lexi is a pest on defense. Short clock right here. Walker climbs to the bucket. And Peyton Verholst has the rebound. Two minutes into the fourth. Verholst is still scoreless on the night. Jalen Glenn for three. In and out. Man, that one took a look and said, not going down. Look at Van that runs the floor and scores. What a find by Nevea Todd. Look at that pass right there for assist number six. Nevea, that frenetic pace, though. Right now, OU plays really up and down a high possession game, and sometimes they make you do that. Sundell back down top. Jalen Glenn lines up and drills a three. See the Sooners, we talked about cutting. Coach said cutting with purpose. Van drops another one home. And the Sooners retake a one point. Sanchez couldn't retrieve that backside lob. K-State ranked number two for the first time since 2002. Who's going to have that closing stretch? Skyler Van posting. Peyton Verholst still without a field goal until that one. Great job having a little stick to itiveness right there by Peyton. Offensive rebound on her own shot and took her time and finished. The worst case state go here. They're one of nine from the field in the fourth quarter. Oh, I think you have to put the ball in Sundell's hands and you let her make the play. It may not be the shot. It may be her passing from that inside out as she's been doing, or it may be her off penetration finding one of those open cutters. Under five to shoot here. It'll be Jalen Glenn with a huge right. corner three for kick stick. Just like that, Chad. You put it in her hands and you let her set the table, either for herself or others, because she can do both. 11 assists now for Serena Sundell tonight. Tied at 59. Man, a deep post, and somehow banked that one in. <laughs> Gabby Gregory just kind of smiling and said, I might have gotten away with a foul there. I, I was thinking, Gabby said, I did everything on earth. <laughs> I got away with one, and she still made it. 
17 now for Van. This is where you go if you're the Wildcats, though. You put the ball in Sundell's hands, and you let her make the play. And a turnover. Sanchez gave it up to Lexi Keys. Soon as have really ratcheted their defense up in this fourth quarter, though. They've made it tough for the Wildcats. Aubrey Jones cut off. Van steps through a double team and got a friendly Lloyd Noble center bounce to drop that one home and give the Sooners a four-point advantage. A lot of game left, Chad. Two us 207. A lot can happen in two minutes and seven seconds. Here's Sundale. Ten to shoot. It'll be Sanchez. And that's in and out. No good. Sanchez has had a good night. Five to shoot. And a whistle. Three in the lane. We get a three seconds in the lane. Yeah. Into the hands of Sundell. Cut off on the baseline. Had to throw that off the leg of Van. Sanchez, an open look. The Kansas State, one of its last eight from the field. Great job rebounding that ball in traffic right there by Peyton Burholtz. Under a minute left now. Oklahoma can sense a win that they haven't had in nearly 20 years. Well, you're going to see, again, Skyler Van balls into Van Tot's hands. Here's that screen. They're trying to play through the post right there with Skyler. Van, deep post position, but no. Williams back up and fouled. That's one of the things Coach Baranchek said. Everything's new for those freshmen and these young players. And here's Sahara making a huge play on the offensive glass and cashing in that second. That's Oklahoma's first point in two and a half minutes. Kansas State hasn't scored in three and a half minutes. Five-point Oklahoma advantage now. Sanchez open on the baseline. A good feed, and Riley Glenn breaks the K-State scoring drought. Oklahoma just one win in 32 tries all time against a team ranked number one or number two. They got a top ten last week, top ten win last week at Texas. Chad, I always talk about these situations where you want to meet Every pass. I always talk about that. And that was a great job by Nevea meeting that ball, not waiting on it to come to you. Kansas State's got a foul. Nevea Todd with her quickness able to run about seven seconds off the clock. Thought she was going backcourt that time. And now Keyes is fouled by Walker. You said it. Nevea exhausted seven with the ball in her hands. And Lexi right where she was on Saturday. What an opportunity to make big three throws for the Sooners. It was Lexi Keys against Kansas. It was Nevea Tott against Texas for Jenny Baranchek's team. And what a win this could be. Oklahoma's first win over a top two team since 2004. Watch the Sooners switching a lot of things on the perimeter right here. Two possession game still. Ten seconds left. Hard drive. Sundell scores it. And it's a two-point game. Let's see how. Again, you don't want to catch it close to that baseline. That is where you want. Two more for Todd. If she makes them both, it's a two-possession game. And it will be a one-possession game. Okay. If she makes this one, we're gonna, I'm going to mention this to you. You've done a lot of Sooner games. What about fouling? This... We'll see. And that's the case. Here we go. One of two for Todd. Three-point Oklahoma she lead. She said no fouls. Glenn out for Sundell. A three. Sure. No good. And for the first time in nearly 20 years, Oklahoma has taken down number two.